Hey guys, what's up? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD, the mod for Total War Attila. Today we've got a 3 vs 3 pitch battle, but it is a special battle because, uh, well, it's on a custom map. And this is a really, really cool map. So what we're going to do here while we're in slow motion, before the battle begins, we are going to look at this map, and we're going to check out the army comps. But uh, before we do the army comps, let's look at the map. So in the center, it's this really cool, almost like arena type environment where you've got this really open area or like open walled area multiple points where you can enter and fight uh you can see that you can't actually pass this way i mean this looks terrifying look at the amount of stakes here imagine falling on that that'd be miserable um obviously but yeah i don't think you can go that way you can only go in i think you can go out here and you can do some really cool fighting. It's going to be really exciting to see how this battle plays out in the center. We do have this, like, area of dead bodies, like, burnt bodies. Like, what happened over here? What is this? Uh, but, yeah, I love the smoke. It's going to create some very cinematic uh, action scenes here, battle scenes. Uh, and then over here, we have the outskirts of this hilltop. So, uh, it looks really awesome. And also, the person playing in this replay... Um, he actually made this map So that's pretty cool as well. He did a great job and I'm excited So let's look at the army comps real quick or the the factions here So on the this side of the map here the blue and yellow teams uh, the first army We have the Hungarians, which is a solid faction. Uh, they're gonna be really awesome to watch here So they're gonna be fighting on this right side from their point of view over in the center fighting in this arena type city area we have, let's see, who do we have here? Oh, we have the Sicilians. We have Sicily uh, bringing a mighty force ready to bring down their foes. And then the final force, which is already, look at this, firing some artillery shots. Going after uh, their artillery, uh, you know, trying to take it out before they can fire. Let's see if they can land any hits. Oh, they landed that one. They took out one. That sucks. But he's using a bit of a hill defense. And this is the uh, Republic of Venice. Uh, so we got a couple Italian factions on the battlefield here today. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom over to the other side. And look at this epic scenery here. This is so cool. Uh, but we have Genoa. So we have a ton of Italians here. You know what? I think this is like an Italian map. Maybe this is like an old Roman outpost here. But yeah, Genoa bringing a solid force of uh, troops here. And then over on the center, who will they be facing? We have... Oh, okay, so we have uh, Nicaea, so the Empire of Nicaea, the, basically the Byzantine Empire. So they're, they're, they're going to be the ones taking on Sicily, which is actually, I think there's some reasoning behind these factions. Like, the, the fact that they're all dealing with, like, being around the Italian peninsula. And then we have the Empire of Epirus, right? I'm pretty sure Epirus, yeah. I haven't seen this faction forever, but it's basically another, like, Greek uh, faction. Very similar to the Byzantine Empire. So I don't know if they would be near Italy. I know the Byzantine Empire had some ter uh, territory near uh, Italy. Anyways, let's do normal speed and let's see how this progresses. So in the center, they're still pushing forward. Uh, and it looks like we, we got some scouting here by some mounted sergeants. Just trying to see the enemy location. And they got to... I would rush quickly in this building, in this area, and set up defenses around the choke point before the enemy can get to them. Over in this side, we do have a force here defending Epirus here, defending the choke points of this fort, this makeshift fort. Uh, now, the Hungarians are being a little bit passive here. Uh, they're being very passive. They're trying to, uh, you know, use their archers, soften up the defense, and, you know, before they charge in their infantry. So they got some archer sar uh, sergeants just opening fire and trying to take out as many as possible before moving in. Looks pretty cool. Looks really cool. So if we fly over to the other side, uh, so again, there's going to be like three different battles going on, so it's going to be hard to keep up with everything. Uh, but now we have uh, the Republic of Venice pushing up their spears, followed by some crossbows. The crossbows are just going to fire right through this small patch of trees, through the smoke, which looks so cool. Um, and they're trying to soften up the spear unit, who is in Testudo, obviously, trying to protect their men from death by bolt. 
more artillery action going on. And they take out another catapult here. So I'm loving this artillery action. It looks great. Uh, if we kind of zoom out here, we can see there might be a little collision of infantry soon over on this side. And here comes another volley. Another shot here from the catapult. Still going after their catapult. Getting really close to their uh, heavy shot cab in the back here. The artillery is going to fire back, give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's see if he can land any hits here. It'd be so cool to see, like, the catapult rounds hit each other mid-air. You know, and just fall down to the ground. That would be awesome. Uh, in the center, still nothing too wild. Both forces are just setting up their positioning here. Uh, we do... Oh, actually, we had a little bit of a cav engagement. It looks like Sicily won that one with some Sicilian nobles. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Now he's going in with a cab charge. A surprise... <laughs> surprise cab charge with a surprise sneeze. Uh, but yeah, a very good cab charge. Killing half of the unit. Breaking the swordsman over here for the Byzantine Empire. And now he's going to be able to fall back. So this is really surprising to see so you know the cab so effective over in this area. Let's go back here where the Hungarians still trying to play the skirmish game. Trying to soften up these defenders. I don't know if they're going to have enough here. It's going to be tough to fight through. It's going to be very tough. I mean... That's why, you know, this faction here, Epirus, they have the advantage of these choke points. And they are, look at this. They are destroying these swordsmen. That is amazing. And the swordsmen are breaking. So the Hungarians might have to make a move here. And look at this, Epirus going in with a charge. A surprise charge. And unfortunately, the Hungarians knocked down their own men to counter charge. They're going to quickly try to get up though. I don't think they're dead, but they did take some damage. And that was amazing. That was a great charge. <laughs> this is dangerous work. It always is, lad. <laughs> That's awesome. So a little bit of a cav engagement. You might want to pull out of there, the, uh, the Greek player. You might want to pull out of that fight. And finally, we have swordsmen going into the fight. So let's go over to the center. Let's make sure we're not missing anything. So still some calf play. Really harassing. Look at this. This is insane. Harassing uh, the Byzantine Empire. And then the rest of the forces are coming back here to defend this open area. Uh, there's more calf play over here in the smoke in the center. Where some mounted sergeants are softening up some swordsmen. But the calf, or I'm sorry, the archers just wrecked that calf. Now let's go back over here where we've got oh a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. So, some cav going in deep from uh, the Republic of Genoa. Swordsmen pushing hard on the flank. And they're trying to push back in enemy lines. Some pole arms. Trying to go after that artillery. But they've got to get through uh, this unit here. The heavy melee infantry. <laughs> Fanta Damar. Fanti, Fanti Damar. I don't know. What are those? Artillery doing friendly fire there. So yeah, they're definitely making a, a, a large swing approach, trying to swing around these guys. Uh, but it's going to be close, guys. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's going to be tough for both factions. And whoever wins here, I doubt they're going to win easily. Now we got reinforcements, some foot... Uh, swordsman here going in medium melee swordsman Very cool very cool engagement. Let's go back over to the center and uh, see that look at this Just cab going in wild. How did this happen? Sicilian nobles man, they're just going in deep suicide charge themselves into the archers and just sloppy play here by the Byzantine Empire player. I mean, look at this. He's just getting wrecked right now in the center. He's losing. He's got to move quickly. He can't rely too much on archers. And I, I'm wondering, where's the rest of his army? And I just think he's lost so much in this engagement. And the Sicilians are like untouched at this point. Uh, but the artillery now going after their artillery. The Varangian guard are getting chewed up 
a very good unit. They've got to, they just got to throw them in the fight. Just get to the fight. Over on this side, the Hungarians are losing, it seems like. And uh, the Empire of Epirus is charging out their men to end this battle against the Hungarians. And he's got to do it quickly because his ally, the Empire of Nicaea, is in desperate need of support. Hungarians are now moving up more uh, spearmen, trying to attack on all fronts. But the Hungarians look like they are losing this fight so far. All right, let's go back up here. Let's see how the... Oh, my God. Still dealing with that cap, but finally they defeat it. But, I mean, if I was Sicily, I'd just go all in. Just charge. You've got the manpower. You've got the troops. You really soften up the Byzant Byzantine Empire. Oh, enemy dead? Enemy general dead over in this fight. We do have a death of a general, and it, I think it was the Genoan general. Or Genoese, I should say. Genoese general. Genoan. Don't you, Genoan? Okay. Um, but yeah, it looks like the Republic of Venice is going to pull this one through. They're, they're going to make it. I don't know. It's still really close. This is a tight, close battle, guys. Uh, some cab going around the flank for the Republic of Venice. Looking for an opportunity to get some cav, I believe. General also on the flank as well. But now that the the general, uh, the general, Genoese general is dead, I think it's going to be really hard for Geno to, to come back on this one. The crossbows are constantly kiting the enemy, falling back, landing some hits, landing some shots. Let's go over to the center, where it's still just a cat and mouse game. Artillery play here, archer play. Oh, nice hit there. Oh, softening up these spears. It's not good. These archers are doing a lot of damage as well, so we got a little bit of a skirmish here. If I was Sicily, I would just charge, man. I would just get going, but the balance of power is dead even, guys. It's a difference of 200 men. In fact... The allied force, which would be the force that don't have the Greeks in them. Uh, you know, uh, we've got the Republic of Venice and the Sicilians in the center. They are outnumbered by 200. So this looks like it's going to be a clear Hungarian defeat. And it's actually quite shocking. Hungarians used to be one of the best factions. And I'm not saying that... It's because they're no longer good that they lost. But it just seems like... I mean, I think the player was kind of outplayed a little bit. But still, like, the Hungarians crumbled so quickly. Oh, and the artillery hit. Where did that come from? Oh, way back here. Going after uh, their cav. But the general's, like, l watching this battle. And he's like, oh, crap. This is not going well. <laughs> King's bodyguard. I'm surprised this is in English. All right, but yeah, they're just... All they have to do now is clean up the Hungarian forces. And uh, we'll see how this battle's progressing. I think Sicily... There he goes. There he goes. Dis disabled men-at-arms. Charging the archers. Oh my god, that is brutal. So yeah, charging the archers. I think he should have done this a long time ago. Just, just clean out. I mean, you gotta quickly beat the Byzantine Empire because you've got you've got the kingdom or Empire of Epirus that's gonna be freed up, and they've got a lot of reinforcements. You know, they've got a lot of troops that are fresh. Uh, back over on this side, though. Oh, do we have artillery firing from the mountain? Look at that! Oh my God! If you could, if you could land a hit from here, you are a god amongst men in terms of firing a catapult. Like, if you're one of the crew members, like, little to the left, little higher, fire! But yeah, it looks like the um, Republic of Venice is going to win this fight. We'll see. There we go. Archer's just cleaning up the mess. Ooh, watch the friendly fire. Oh my god. He just killed a couple of his own men there. There we go. There's an open target right here of going for that artillery. 
Let's see if he goes for it. I mean, it's really up to his calf and his crossbows. I really think it's just a matter of time until this force is defeated. So let's actually head back over to the center where the catapult is now fo focusing its attention over to this side and taking out some of the Byzantine Empire catapults. Just go in. Just charge in your infantry. They won over on this flank. I think it's time to move. I think it's time to go in and end this battle against the uh, Empire of Nicaea. Back over here, still trying to clean up the Hungarians. Still trying to take out their calf. Going after some uh, some spears as well. So this is really cool because we have multiple battles that like both teams are winning. So if, for example, in the center, the Sicilians are winning. Over here though, his ally is losing and the enemy is winning, you know, in perspective of the Sicilians. And then over on this side, it, it's, it looks like it's gonna be a victory for the Venetians, but just barely, you know? It, like he still has troops here, but he lost a lot of men taking on uh, the Republic of Genoa. Uh, so it's gonna come down to what's left after these first initial battles. You know, that's a pretty obvious statement, but you know what I mean. Look at that smoke, man. That looks awesome. Just looks really cool. These men falling back here. I've yet to see a truly beautiful woman. Amazing. I love the commentary with these guys. This looks so cool. I mean, these structures in the back look so amazing. I mean, it kind of looks like industrial, you know, like a factory, like a war, World War One or World War Two factory that's been blown up from an air raid or something, a bombing. Uh, it just looks, it looks like really cool. It looks unique. Um, but yeah, I think Sicily's relying on his crossbows again. Trying to weaken the uh, forces here. I was kind of hoping that it just a, you would see a massive bra you know brawl mosh pit in the center between these two armies, but it was actually very delicate. It was a very passive, uh, you know, like uh, you relying on skirmisher type of battle in the center. And there we go, guys. Hungarians have been defeated. Now these forces are going to try to make their way around and probably support his uh, his ally. And that's probably why this this player is being so passive and defensive because he's just trying to hold out for reinforcements from his ally. And then over on this side, same thing. Uh, the Venetians are going to come around. This is crazy. This is just crazy. So we got allies coming around this way to go this way. And then the other team, they have allies going around this way that are going to come this way. It's going to be a photo finish here, guys. And I have a feeling that it's going to come down to uh, really who can get their reinforcements up there faster. Uh, Sicily is in trouble if he does not make a move here. I think Sicily needs to be aggressive, take out this army, and then prepare to hold against this force. So what we're going to do here, guys. Actually, hold on. So he's got some Pavi's crossbows going around. Got a general moving up, though. I think he's going to try to get a cav charge on those crossbows. Let's see if he goes for it. Yeah, he's going for it. Let's see. And he's going to land a charge. Could have been better. But he did, he's going to do some damage against these crossbows. I was a little unfortunate to see these uh, spears not move up and support the crossbows. But now the general's stuck fighting a spear unit. He's going to fall back. Get out of there. Now we got some spears moving in over here. Nice shield wall. Archers are starting to waver. Vrangi and guard are going to be absolutely tough to take out. But they might be sending in some Cav uh, bodyguard. We actually have the King's bodyguard from the Hungarians. Who has abandoned his battle. 
And he's going to go for the artillery, it looks like. Or the archers. Ooh, you got to move quick, man. There he goes. Oh, the artillery. And then the uh, emperor is going to counter charge. Yeah, there we go. Finally, he's sending up the reinforcements. Uh, finally, he's sending up his forces. And here comes these reinforcements. They're making their way. It's just such a long road to take. It's going to take forever. And it's still an even battle, guys. But it has changed. So the last time we looked at the difference in, in manpower, the allied forces, and I'm just calling them allied because it's in perspective, like the battle replays in their perspective, but they had 200 less. Now they're kind of close to 200 more uh, in this battle. So the tables have shifted, but it's not like the battle's over. It's not like they've secured a victory here. They still have a long way to go if they want to win this battle. It's all about these reinforcements, guys. Uh, Venice is definitely looks like they're closer. But we do have some cav nearby from the uh, Empire of Epirus who are making their way. This is gonna be this is gonna be some trouble. This artillery is out in the open. They might want to send back some spears of some sort to deal with that cav. Oh man. Kills are still about the same, the manpower. Varangian Guard obviously killing these Argonese spearmen. Just absolutely just splitting their shields, getting them off the battlefield. Byzantine Empire's still in it, you know? He's still got a chance. Look at this. He's sending in archers now to support this fight. Oh, the, what? How did that happen? How did the Varangian Guard die? Uh, not die, but waver there. They were winning that battle. But they should try to get a charge off here because the charge bonus. But we'll see. And back over here, I don't know why the Cav's not going in. I'd be rushing this Cav in to take out this artillery. Don't give it a chance to fire upon your men. Take it out. Take it out. And then over here, the Sicilian general is in this fight. Taking out these spearmen along with some swordsmen. Argonese swordsmen. And here we go. These forces are about to finally make their way up this hill. And they're trying to quickly get up here. And now that they killed them, he should take this general. And, and uh, hammer an anvil, the Varangian guard. Which have now broken the spears. So... It's a weird engagement over on this side. See, he's not going for the charge, though. The, oh, he's going for the general. I would just get the Varangian Guard out of there. I mean, I know they're weak and they've already, they already broke once, but like, get them off the battlefield because they are so good. Now the cab moving up. About to charge into the spear wall. Heavy shock cab moving up as well. Possibly charging through this gate. Emperor's bodyguard moving up. He's going to do one last, like, huzzah until he's, you know, killed. There we go. Downhill charge, too. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic. Oh, well. That was cool, though. That downhill charge. Though, it's a fight he's probably going to lose, especially with support on the way. And this is going to be the downfall of the Emperor. And now, look at this, guys. 
The Hungarians are making it up, but, you know, it's kind of too late. It's too late at this point because Sicily has this well defended. Well defended, ready to go. And look at Sicily's even charging out his crossbows, risking their lives to just get some nice hits on the, uh, the heavy shock cab over here. And look, he's going to run them. As soon as he noticed that they're moving, he's running. Here comes the Empire. Did I call them the Hungarians? That's who they were fighting. This is the Empire of Epirus. Sorry. So many factions here today. And there we go, guys. Byzantine Empire has been completely defeated. The balance of power. It, now there's a 400-man advantage. Uh, on the allied side, on the yellow and blue teams. So, I think I think this is going to be tough. I don't think it's impossible, but it's going to be tough for the Empire of Epirus to win this. But they've just, they just got to keep sending troops up there. As these spearmen continue to hold the line. And they're now falling back. Oh no, they're not falling back. The cab is breaking. But I mean, if you look at this force. If I was Sicily, I might as well just sally out. If you take care of this cab. Like if the cab is gone, you don't have to worry about cab charges. This is a weak force. And the archers are out of ammo, it looks like. Let's see. Yeah, they're out of ammo. So they use so much ammo over in this fight over here that they are left with nothing in the late game. So the biggest threat are the, are the cab units. And he's just like sending them into their deaths. And where's his ally? Here comes his ally. Finally, Venice arrives. Let them in. Because alone, Sicily might lose. Uh oh, Cav got through. Look at this. How did the Cav get through? Now charging down the crossbows. Some swordsmen chasing them right behind. There they go. They're starting to die now. Here comes some axemen charging in. This army's got to be tired, too. Because, uh, you know, they've been walking for a great distance. And all the artillery, still having some artillery uh, rounds. He's holding pretty well over on this side as well. Let's see if he pushes up more troops this way. I mean, he's got to wait uh, as in like his ally. His ally is kind of taking his sweet time getting over here. Uh, but he's starting to break. He's now sending over swordsmen. They're sending in more and more waves of troops, but they're so depleted. And they just look exhausted. I, I just don't think he's going to have enough here to defeat the Sicilian force. Because Sicily has the defenses, you know? They have the advantage. I mean, they won that middle engagement, so... And here we go. Here comes some heavy archers. Oh. Yeah. Some of the troops are returning, but why? Just go home, man. Why are these guys not just fleeing right now? Why are they standing with their backs turned to the crossbows? There's two of them left. Just go home. Just one left. Run, dude. Save your life. Just flee. Why? Look at that. I love how the spear... Going through the shield right there? That looks so cool. Like, it, that's how he holds his side weapon. That's awesome. But finally, he's fleeing out. Oh. Too late. Ah, he almost made it. He almost made it. And then here comes uh, some heavy melee infantry pushing in. Uh, but... <laughs> It's a lot of infantry over here. They might win this engagement, but they just don't have enough to win the battle. 
And the crossbows are chewing these guys up, especially since they don't have shields. And they're just running through. Look at they're, they're going to go for the crossbows. Get rid of those crossbows. Bounce of power greatly in favor of the Sicilian side. Earn your pay for once. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love the dialogue. If only, like, this was a true medieval game and they had medieval dialogue. You know, what would they say, you know? Like, for the king. It's not my king. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> There we go. They're just finishing up these troops, guys. Nice shield wall holding back the troops. The archers are getting sprayed. I think these guys broke and then return. And once again, the, the player doesn't realize it. Their backs are turned. We got artillery now firing down here, trying to take out their artillery. Just missing, going downhill. And the troops are fighting the good fight. More spears going into the fray for the Empire of Epirus. They won over here with the support of Venice now arriving. They still have a couple troops to clean up. But I think pretty soon we're going to see the chain route, guys. So let's just sit back and enjoy the bloodshed over on this front. Oh, yeah. So a nice bloody fight. There we go. Everyone's starting to break. Full on charge out. This is a really close battle, guys. This is really close. I mean, it wasn't like edge of your seat close, but it was close for the first, like, I would say 70% of the battle. Last 30%, maybe less, last 25% of the battle replay. It was quite clear that the Empire of Emperor Epirus, they were not going to be good enough, not strong enough. Uh, not, I don't mean good enough like the player. Uh, the player seems great. But I meant like they weren't strong enough after defeating the Hungarians to defeat the combined Sicilian-Venetian force. And now we are, as I like to call it, the cleanup phase of the battle where there's really no strategy. You're just telling your men to charge in, clean up this mess. And uh, get your, your enemy off the battlefield. And we can go ahead and just fast forward, guys. Uh, because it is quite clear that this is going to be a defeat for the, uh, the Greek alliance. The, you know, the Empire of Epirus, the Empire of Nicaea, and the Republic of Genoa. Uh, so a lot of Italian-Greek factions here today. And there we go. Pyrrhic victory. How fitting. Uh, so let's end the replay and look at the results here real quick. So, Sicily did great here. His cab did fantastic. His crossbows also did really well. And the ca I mean, everybody, it was a pretty even spread here. But the cab and crossbow uh, did especially well. By the way, this was uh, by P uh, B. Pink Floyd. Uh, so, he uh, made the map and he made this replay. So, dude, thank you so much, man. This was really cool. It was really fun to watch. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much. And we got Smokey over here. Uh, who is, let's see, he did pretty well with his, some of his cav, his archers did decent, but um, he, he really struggled against, uh, what was it, yeah, Sir Pepper Pineapple, uh, Anubis 14, here's his kills, we got Genoa, he did pretty well, but he just didn't have quite enough to defeat the Venetians, and then Venice uh, was Wasabi. Uh, he did pretty well as well. Uh, his crossbows wrecked people. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this custom map. You can download it uh, on the Steam Workshop. I'll have a link to the map down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on the battlefield.